Hey friends! So today we're going to take a look at the C2C KBQ version 3 and find out how to test four different cables with different characteristics and modes available for connecting to your phone, computer or any other device. Let's first start with the manual which explains after reading through some safety notes the general usage of the device, how to insert a battery and how to take a measurement by inserting both ends of a USB-C to USB-C cable into the C2C cable queue. The most interesting pages are pages 6 and 7, where you can see the useful LED combinations and the different USB modes that come with it. After that, we can see a connector summary for the USB-C connector and the schematics, so you can debug it yourself. In the end, there is some warranty information and some troubleshooting steps before coming to the technical data and how to get rid of your old batteries once they run flat. We are going to start by opening the middle of the book which shows us the interesting different modes. You can see that the first one we can see here is USB power delivery. So once we've inserted the battery into the cable queue we can connect the cable to it and see, like here, that we have Webus connected, we have ground connected, and we can also see that there is a CC1 and CC2 pin connected, which means that this is a charging only cable. The next cable we're going to take a look at is going to be a USB 2 cable. So once I focus down here, you can see that USB 2 should have Webus ground D plus D minus and shield connected to be able to transmit data from and to your computer or phone. You can see here that this cable has everything connected. It has D plus and D minus on the right hand side and if I flip this connector on the left hand side it is going to appear over here. This is for backwards compatibility and will always look like this. The first USB 3 cable we're going to take a look at is the one that came with my external hard drive and as you can see here it is a USB 3.0 or 3.1 cable. You can see that the TX2 and RX2 pins are connected and if I flip it around it's going to be RX1 and TX1. You can see that in the manual down there option A TX1 RX1 option B TX2 RX2. The last and most interesting cable we are going to take a look at is the one we also sell at our shop, cableq.com. It's a USB 3.2 Type-C cable with a maximum charging current of 5 amps for 100 watts of charging power that can transmit up to 20 gigabits per second of data. The cable itself, you can see, is already quite a bit more bulky than the other ones we've looked at. And if we connect it to the C2C cable queue, you can immediately see, if I plug it fully in, that almost all the LEDs are connected. The only ones that are not connected are D plus and D minus. And this is again for backwards compatibility with the USB-A and micro USB connector. So we can see that this is a really high-end cable and the C2C cable queue features a lot of different options that you can all use. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments and let me know.